We're now going to compare different points on different alum curves. We have two alum curves, alum curve 1 and alum curve 2. And we have different points on these two alum curves, point A and point B on alum curve 1 and point C on alum curve 2. Let's start with the difference between point A and point B on alum curve 1. In moving from A to B, the level of production increased and that has led to an increase in the interest rate. Something has happened in the financial market. We have the supply of money and the demand for money. This demand for money corresponds with the level of production at point A. The level of production at point B is higher, so the demand for money has increased. And we see the equilibrium level of interest increase from this level to this level. So if we compare point A with point B, we'll see the interest rate at point B is higher than point A. If we compare point A with point C, we'll see that the level of production did not change. So what caused the increase in the interest rate? Again, if we turn to the financial market, we have the supply of money and the demand for money. Nothing has happened to the level of output. So therefore, the demand for money did not change, but something caused the interest rate to increase. The only thing that could have caused the increase in interest rate if the supply of money decreased. Therefore, the interest rate increased from this level to this level. So the interest rate at point C is higher than point A. So we see a change in the level of production caused a movement along the alum curve. A change in the supply of money caused a shift of the alum curve.